Welcome back to Sikistan. Uh, Zach is coming in from Talander Menistan, and then we have uh, Seb from the UK, obviously. Um, so we're doing a reaction today. The lads don't know what it is, but obviously you know what it is because you clicked on it. And today we're reacting to the top five power bellies in weightlifting, or my top five power bellies. Sick. <laughs> Yes. Right. I already know who some of them are going to be. I, I do too. I, my mind can, just went racing through. <laughs> there's only one. I actually got this idea from one of Zach's videos, or from Seb's video. Someone in the comments said, uh, it's, you can only be strong if you have a power belly. And I was like, here we go. Okay, so number one is obvious. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, obviously, obviously Lasha just has to be. He's the first up because he's, you know, he's Lasha Telecatsy. He's the best. So, uh what, when they, okay. Is he, is he, so yeah. I, I, his power belly to me seems relatively recent. Relatively recent, I say, mm. because it wasn't mm. as active in Houston. Yeah. So after that, it became every single snatch, every single clean. He had to adjust his t-shirt. Yeah. Did yeah. you know? I think in Houston, 2015. He weighed 151 kilos. Or, no, I think it was 147. And he's yeah. now, what, 177. So he's right. gained 30 kilos. What is that, 66 pounds in, like, six years. Which is did, pretty good go. Did you see him at Georgia Nationals? I think the belly has gotten more powerful. Yeah, it even looks, bigger. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's... You know, that's... Um, that's kind of concerning long term for health. Obviously, he's not too potted about that. He's trying to be the greatest weightless forever, but you know, oh, he's one seventy six. Uh, that's crazy. That is. Yeah, he's dude. definitely. I'd say he's coming up at one eighty at this point. So this is but. actually a really interesting. Side note: If you want to talk about like you know unhealthy, I think it's the habit of the habitual eating is unhealthy. And like coming from American football, this is ingrained in me. Like and and a lot of. Um, Linemen, I'm sure it is in rugby to a certain yeah, extent, where sure. you get this habit of like you can never eat enough food, you know. And it's not the it's not after where you have all this fat; it's the habitual eating that is dangerous, right? Yes. So I would assume if he was able to break the habitual eating, he's young enough. Dude's yeah. young, dude. Yeah. Lasha. Wait, how old is he? Do, do we know how old that he's, is? He's, I have to keep reminding myself that he's younger than me. No way. What yeah, do you see? He's 28, but like only just turned. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And to yeah, weigh that, crazy. like, that's crazy. That takes a long time to put on that much size. Okay. I would assume it's actually not going to be that hard for him to get it off if he can fix the habits, right? Because he's not going to be slamming drugs. He's not going to be lifting as much weight, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He might even get into, like, some weird, I don't know, like, lifting shit like Klokov did. I don't know. But he could lose that if Jeff. if he doesn't sit down and eat three thousand calories per meal, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, you do. You do see that with like Robbie after, like they just keep, they just get fat. Like people are in phenomenal shape. By the time they're forty, they're just like, oh fuck. Yeah. 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 So. Um. What's the crazy thing about lashes? His technique is still improving. Like it's getting more athletic. His cleans are getting more. I suppose dynamic. Is it? You know, he's getting, is it really? Yeah. I, I, I feel like I feel like at nationals, like that two fifteen, that two fifty, like that two fifty clean particularly looked really like dynamic. To me. Yeah. But did you see? It took a step forward on the two hundred and the two ten. Yeah. Which you wouldn't normally do in the snatch. I should, no. I do, you know. Yeah. I totally agree with that. And then two fifteen looked better, so it's strange. Did, did look nicer. Yeah. What do you think, Zach? You don't think you think he's similar? I don't know. I just feel like maybe maybe his. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be harder for him to grab the bar. But again, he's six six, so the belly has room to go through. Like if you're if you're you know five ten to to you know six foot. I mean, there's really, it's really difficult to be a super and be under 5'10", right? Yeah, oh, oh 100%. So no that's what I'm saying. If you're 5'10 and you're a super, it becomes harder and harder to grab the bar. It becomes harder and harder to, to like, manipulate yourself to get into that really compensated position, especially mm. in the snatch. I'm yes. trying to think of Yeah, who, I mean, if which... you see him on the snatch from the side, like, he is in some level of flexion in his spine which like, yeah. which lifters i mean Even i there. think what like gore Manassian, does he have the worst like mobility as far as like getting into start positions i think i think it's start position is the hardest thing right like yeah. for finding the most snatch. optimal way to pull i think it's ruben actually gore's teammate i think ruben oh. is a guy who's struck like he has to like stand and he no, does no. a dive bomb start because he just he just Jerry. drops down Jerry Orsay, yeah. he's got the worst. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Who am I thinking? Oh, Re didn't Rezazade? <laughs> Speaking of Rezazade, yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. There we All right. go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
so Rezaza Daddy, right? So for my in my opinion. And, Wait, can you uh, just let me watch one of these this final clean and jerk? I just gotta it. see the sixty three. Show me oh oh hang on, there's the big lifts. Hang on, where's the sixty three? Here. Uh, let me go back. George Yazanichi doing the black magic. The there we go, there magic. we go. Ba, 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 ba. 260. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, so, so easy. And he did, what, 265 in Tokyo. That was the best jerk he's done. Yeah, that's a nice jerk. Yeah, yeah that's a really great jerk. He really stepped out there. Yeah. Jeez. I wonder if the weight gain was intentional or was a result of other things, obviously, which we can imagine, or was it just... Just literally like, oh fuck, I'm 180 yeah. kilos and my lifting is going well. I think, I it's, think it's intentional. Yeah, it's intentional in so far as like it's just a natural progression for any weightlifter, especially mm -hmm. if your weight class is limitless, right? So like, guys, I was I actually just talked about this in my last video that I that I made coming out. So subscri subscribe to me and you know unsubscribe to these losers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I talked about this. It's like the only natural way to go is up if you're if you can go up. A guy like Lu Zhao Jun, for him, just get in shape. Yeah. That's it. You just get in shape yeah. and you win. Okay. So for them, it's not about increasing your performance. It's just about maximizing what you already have. For guys right. like like Lasha, you can increase your performance or body weight, and that mm -hmm. might help you maintain shape. That might actually push your shape even further. So for lifters out there, like it's the only natural way to go is to keep gaining weight. Mm -hmm. That, you know, maybe his you know. his snatch. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe his snatch was a little bit more athletic. In was it 2017? Well, what was the training hall you filmed in, Zach? Was that 2017 where you had a, some? Yeah, yeah, that was um, Anaheim. Anaheim. Yeah, I think that snatch might have been a little bit more, a little bit more kind of God, dynamic. I forgot that I filmed there. Holy crap! I tried to pull a fucking hook grip and all things gym <laughs> in those things. Not a, not a uh, weightlifting house because you weren't around yet at that one. No. Yeah, yeah, 270. And then obviously the two twenty five. That clean, like the jerk, obviously looks tough. That clean is absolutely ridiculous. The height on the bar, yeah, is absurd. And uh, I don't think he's a huge power clean. Like remember that two fifteen power cleans we saw him doing. I don't think he can power clean much, but I think it's a skill thing. But he was also yeah. wearing straps, like just, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He does two twenty five. I mean, it's just one of those things. He just doesn't give a fuck. Like no one. No. Like it's not like okay, we're. Oh, he only back squats three. Oh. He only back squats three twenty. It's like because he doesn't fucking care. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like velocity squats, but three twenty. Yeah, <clears throat> who fucking? No one gives a shit. Like, what? He, what's? What's he gonna have to prove to you guys that he can do four hundred kilo back squat? No, it's not gonna right. help him lift. No. Uh, all right. Here's Rezazadeh. Yeah. Here's okay. So, okay. I, yeah. Who is the famous British commentator from from David, like, oh, David Go? David Goldstrom. Okay, so David Goldstrom, I remember watching this video of Rezazadeh, and he's like, he's nearly 200 kilos, this man. Like, <laughs> you know, and that, that always stuck with me. Like, he, this has always been the biggest. Does he do this, like, little lift-off thing before he goes at this no, point? No, that was no, Salimi. Yeah. Oh, Salimi. Reza okay, God, I don't know why yeah. I thought that. Yeah, like, that's he, crazy. He was makes this contact. when he snatched 212 and a half? No, that World was. Record. Uh, I think this was the best of this competition. Is this two thousand five? No, not two. So this is his two, world record, two sixty three. Yeah. Um, he makes contact on his power belly in the snatch. On his stomach, yeah. Yeah. And in two thousand four, the Olympics, which we're obviously not shown because it's going to get copyright struck. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a genuine like belly button finish. Yeah. Oh, 100 yeah, percent. It's tremendous. Yeah. It's, uh, in my opinion, Rezazade is like the only person who has the potential to beat lasha or like gave him a good run for his money in terms of maybe a total you know so there's a video here i'll just get to it because i feel like he could have done 270 so so, so this you video know. is supposedly 270 okay so here's 265 yeah, in one, arena yeah, yeah. but there's another one after this and i love oh, i love this video dude he, but look, look at the yeah, difference yeah. like he's just, <laughs> he's wide yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes you're right you're right no that aspect ratio does get him Okay, so that's what I was about to say. Is like, look at how much bigger he is here. <laughs> he's look how so wide. I love the bars. <laughs> so here. Also, why is his head a hexagon right now? <laughs> I've done, so, so, so here's 270 supposedly. That is it. Looks it. like he yeah. could 270, and I believe he could do 270. No yep, problem. Or it's 220 because the ease of this lift. Yes, it's so hard to know. It's like it's, I believe he could do 270, but I don't think he can do it like this. I don't know. He's incredible. Like the easy way he front squats like 280 and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. You will never know for sure, but that is a large farva. <laughs> there, 
there's a possibility where that's crazy where um oh here we go oh, number gosh, three sweet so just to finish on the Rosazza daddy uh there's a possibility i could see where they're competing together now um uh, maybe hosen gets like 215 does a 216 like gore and then hosen pulls out a huge clean and jerk you know there's a possibility obviously we'll never know and it's just speculation but it's nice to think it's interesting to think what would have happened okay so uh with yeah with tank Oh, sorry, I was moving on. Yeah, 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 go for it. Go for it. Obviously, Tank had to be in With Tank, is his top snatch 190? 191. Yeah, so day, I think it? he's natural. It's possible. It's possible. One, it's 190 possible. is like, I think that's right <laughs> right along the lines. I just love Especially for shakes. someone with the most insane. Yeah, that, that's always like. Oh, this is it. The top, we, com- the top comment is always, look at how much, look at how hard it is for him to unrack the bar and how easy it is for him to fucking squat it. Yeah, also, I love in this lift and his heavy lifts, it's like he just throws himself under, yeah. like there's very little like connection no, with the bar as he pulls under. He just, uh, like that, he just yeah. jumps. And so I think it's... that, that that's, this is like the opposite of Lasha. Yes. You guys yes. see, this that's, is the, that's this the best way to describe the this. opposite. Lasha is connected. He's pulling. He has a massively yeah. strong low back. His low back, his hamstrings, just the way uh, that he pulls on the bar. This is a guy who can squat, and that's it. He yeah, squats, and this, that's it. And the pull is the hardest thing. For I, think, is, I think you know this is interesting. Just getting it off the floor. I, I made this video about Louis that's coming out, and Louis's biggest thing that he says is like, Ooh. we don't have enough people who who use their low back and who pull because I feel like with weightlifting we've shifted so far the other way. Right, you get into weightlifting, you go, oh my god, my fucking front squat, my back squat are so shitty. Like I need to front squat and back squat, and that's it, you know. Mm-hmm. And what ends up yeah. happening is you actually have lifting like this from people who might be built to pull better. So I think like having a more balanced, being able to have like a super strong low back, like yeah. it, it's so important because that's where all of the, you know, that's where all the pressure hinges on. Uh, and and you mm. like that that's something that's underrated, you know. But a guy like this, it's almost impossible for him to lift like Lasha does. It is impossible because he's yeah, got impossible. Yeah, he he probably shouldn't be a super heavy if you're being realistic. Like yeah. he probably yeah. should be you like six or dude. It's the short legs thing is like difficult. It's hard to do. It's it yeah. is, people think like oh small femur, small legs, great for weightlifting. Yeah. It's like it is if you're Chinese because the Chinese yeah. just like fucking. Do not allow themselves to have weak pulls. They do yeah. not allow it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're not built for strong pulls. Yeah, if you look at a lot of the best weightlifters throughout history, like obviously there were a few who look a little bit more like Tank, but like you've got the Urix and the Zacharyas, yep. and the I mean even Blagojev had crazily long arms, like Lasher. You know, like they don't all look like this. Like I think it's a bit of a myth that you have to be a Lu Zhaojun. Unless, you know, unless you person. nail the training that allows you that, right? Because yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. can make if you can make squatting, you just check the box without even having really to train it. Yeah. Like, yeah, and I'm, I mean, they yeah, they don't have to ad- create adaptation with their squats at all. They, they squat like twice a week, yeah. and then they do maximum deadlifts and a shit ton of volume on hip extensions yep. and everything for their hip hinge. Absolutely. Yeah. And anyone who's listening who's like, oh, sweet, I can just do that. It's like, well, you're yeah, a yeah. fucking idiot then, okay? Like, yeah. <laughs> the, the, like, I think the biggest problem with Japanese lifters is their technique is just pretty wild, pretty ropey. Uh, <laughs> for, on average, I'm like, a huge Japan model. guy. We know oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love Japan, obviously. <laughs> but their technical model is just not great. Like, they're, they're consistently ropey. It seems to come from their style of training. It just seems pretty... Uh, work capacity, a lot of volume, and it doesn't make for like a conducive one RM kind of style of technique. You know, yeah. you get really good at doing stuff like clean and jerking your front squat, but then if you could do it, could you do it again next week? And it's like maybe, maybe not. You know, so it's uh, but it's people love Japanese lifters, and I'm one of those too for sure. Like they're very entertaining. All right, what do we got next? So right, okay, Tatiana Karashin is up next, right? But I don't really <laughs> think she has. She doesn't really have a power belly, but no. but I just think she's a phenomenal lifter, and Seb's not allowed to talk about her, but so I had to put her in. <laughs> so. I can comment. Yes. I can, I can talk about her. Where's, the, where's your face is gone? It's so she weighed, what, 106 here? 100 and... <laughs> where is she? Well, she's the number one. Obviously, like, it, 
Uh, actually, I think that performance still counts. In terms of like performances that IWF recognizes, she still has the number one Sinclair. She's amazing. She's an unbelievable lifter in terms of like female lifting. <laughs> she has five of the top ten actually, which is crazy. I'm sorry that I thought this was so funny because like I had no idea that a woman would be put on this, and you, I had to. You just casually I, dropped. Oh, okay, so Tatiana Kasharina is definitely on this, but like, let's go on like two fucking. No, she's so, an amazing lifter. Obviously, I'm caught. I was yeah. caught off guard. Oh, so our technical model, phenomenal. Have you? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Did you see that video of her like talking about the technique in weightlifting? No, what it, did she it say? It almost looks like. Like, it's like a fucking software engineer talking about weightlifting. Mm. I, I got to find this thing. It's like some YouTube video somewhere where she's, like, talking about how intense the technique is. And it's yeah. like, you can tell this woman has been put through the ringer as far as technique goes. It's similar to, like, Andre Arm now. You, yeah. you look at a lifter like Andre, and he's just, like, a fucking Nazi when it comes to uh, technique. Although that's probably not the most accurate way to talk about it because he's Russian. Well, Belarusian. Yeah. But, Belarusian. you know. You get the idea. Supposedly, and I've I heard this from two different sources, and I don't know how true it is or not, but it's very yeah. possible. Tatiana Karashina's best lifts are one seventy two ten in training. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna, like I've heard that too, Owen. But yeah. honestly, I think that's some bullshit right there. I don't well, think so. If it's, okay, Why look. It be, if it's true, if it's true, it's from mm. the blocks. So one seventy is from the blocks. There's no way. Oh yeah, it, they, it would have yeah, to be from right? the blocks. Okay. That snatch. But yeah, that's not I true. Totally agree with that. That's not, not I don't true. know, guys. Why if do we... it was true, it's from yeah. the blocks. But also, it's not true. Yeah, but no. also, it's not true. No, why would it not be true, though? Because it's it's routinely... Just, I just know. Like, we routinely see lifters do huge lifts. Look at this shit. Lift. Wait, look at this shit. Hey! Like, you telling me she couldn't snatch 170? Fuck you, yeah, <laughs> let's see. Let's look at the 193 as well. I think, like, there's... True, that's about 90% <laughs> of 170 right there. Everyone, that was possible. The, dude, everyone put on 170 on the bar and just shrug it, okay? Everyone watching this shit, just <laughs> fucking do some shrugs with 170. And then, and then just, like, laugh out loud thinking that a woman, doesn't matter how much jugs was... Dri drugs were dram jammed into her fucking body okay 170 overhead in a snatch are you kidding me i think it's possible the looking judging by these lifts like i think you're just underestimating like wait, so, gets so uh, what i wonder though is like oh, man, you almighty. know it seems like in the super heavyweights and women there's a there are bigger outliers in almost any other category across men and women guys like, you just have sure. like and a group of like one or two who for some reason are always like 20 percent ahead and when i say for some reason we know the reasons why yeah mm -hmm. but like for them to have someone who's like an additional five percent above that and then an extra ten percent in training it's like what like how is she like that that's like, crazy if you would think that, wait can we see that again yep no problem no that oh! wouldn't count. would that count these days probably not At guys almighty let's just let's just stop and say this something i just have to say like almighty was fucking lit it was a it was an incredible way. i was I was doing my final year. It was exam a great world. Christmas exams. It's in the library. It's just doing no study. And I remember just being like, this is like. Yeah, yeah. I was at uni as well. I remember I'd take my laptop uh, to the gym every day. Dude, Houston. And put it down. And then we'd all just lift weights and watch it. It was such a good competition. Okay, look. My experience with Houston was like, it was a magical playland. <laughs> It, it yeah. felt yeah. it felt surreal, dude. It was like every lifter I've ever been obsessed with, just like casually walking around me. I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, and and like going to a random session, just like throughout the day, like at, at yeah. fucking six p.m. There would be like the yeah. you know the eighty five C session, and I'd go yeah. and I'd watch it. I'd be like, this is fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, you know, like yeah, but fr freaking out. No security either. I could sit wherever the fuck I wanted. It was amazing, dude. Yeah, but then you saw the ruined the favorite and kept testing people. Fuck, and every what Chinese that lifter bombed out. Yeah. Like, oh shit! Yeah, I remember. Wasn't oh, it she and then Lu yeah. and then Tian. I like, don't. Back I back didn't give back. a shit about that, dude. I don't care. <laughs> also, how come Meng Ping is one nineteen? I thought she was like a lot more than that. I, I thought she was like one forty at one point. Yeah, she, she, was on the, she was. She was on the Atkins diet at this time. She's a lot less than <laughs> like, Lu Wen. Tatiana is in great shape. Like she's not. She doesn't have yeah, a power belly, is. but I mean, like. <laughs> Fuck it, like 193 clean and jerk at this. Well, that's, yeah, she's like um, the Pizarenko of the women's side. Look, yeah, she's like, juice to the gills, but like lean. Like could have done with a 100 kilo category. Look, she's got a belly and it's powerful. So she's got a power belly. Yeah. All right, yeah. what, what else do we got? Uh, do you want to just quickly see her 193 just to appreciate? Yes. Yeah, of course. So, oh, here's Done. 185. Wait, did she even take a third attempt? Oh, you're meeting an end in 10 minutes. What the fuck? Oh, we should be done. Don't worry, I'll keep going. Okay, so we've got... Just watch the... Os do you know, th this is a good example. When people say, yeah, you, when the bar keeps oscillating and you say, you can't stop okay, them, they go. say, no, you can't. 
She stops the oscillation dead. She does. Oh, she does here. And so it's like Fucking it's just such hell. a bad argument that you can't. Yeah. You I telling mean, me she couldn't do one one ninety three or two ten at these two hundred? She stops it no. dead. Here's one ninety three again. This is. Just... Look at this. It's oscillating. Then it just stops. It's true, actually. Yeah, she does murder it. I mean, All right, it's that's... allowed to Does oscillate, it oscillate obviously. in her hands. That's always the fucking coolest looking when it's when it's in their hands overhead oscillating. You're like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> all right, lads. We all know who number one is. Everyone knows. Yeah, Any guess. The only Is it our plumber? The, is it my plumber? It's our plumber. It's our okay, plumber. Cool. The only I got really, really worried then. It was about to be Grizzly, and I was just about to leave. Oh, I should have done that. No, I don't I don't get to the Grizzly. To be fair, thing. it could have been Shemakin. Yeah, I but, thought about Shemakin. I mean, uh, no, rubber. come on. Uh, uh, Vasily Alexiev, dude. There, yeah, true. There was a lot of great options, but uh, a it lot of to be sh up. shady footage. Oh, so here's the 140. Oh. I love her technique. It's phenomenal. Oh, my God, um, bro. Jesus so here's up. Christ. Here he is. Oh my god. It's to me. <laughs> that like, is the best do, snatch ever caught on video. Do we know I what his best clean jerk is? Because I know he's done 240. I've just got this 235, but it's not his best. I know that. Yeah. It's to me, Sarab Moradi. <laughs> our favorite Iranian plumber. I love pre shoulder. He's, oh my his god. jerk was phenomenal. His jerk is unbelievable. Was that 240? 235. Oh, okay. He Didn't he do like. Didn't he dunk on 240 in front of like a tiny little Iranian crowd or something yeah he seems to have done 240 multiple times yeah from can we talk about the fact that he on this world record he lifted the bar off the floor after the time it hit zero but Did they he? still gave it to him oh I didn't, I didn't know notice. that yeah this this lift here I'm kind of the, of the opinion that if you're doing a world record you can kind of get away with some stuff just like that. unlimited time yeah yeah give him a chance because you used to get a fourth attempt and I feel like that should be allowed if you're going for a world record and it's how about if it's a world record but mm -hmm. it's also to let you win Oh, yeah. You shouldn't get extra time. The fucking but Iranian, the Iranian crowd in Anaheim, bro. You had to be mm. there to see it. Oh yeah. The look, look at the timer. Five, four, three. My, why is he leaving go so long? Oh yeah. wow! Not even close. <laughs> yeah, and maybe, they give it to him. Maybe that timer wasn't. In... That jerk is phenomenal. That's the best lockout he's almost ever had in a clean jerk. And he was a ninety-four here, uh, so yeah. he's beating early aliens world records. Yeah. I'd love well, to he was equaling it to be fair. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd love to see the two of them compete against each other, like peak. Amazing! That would have been amazing. It's not an American crowd without someone wearing Sarab a T-shirt. Uh, of course, for sure, I was but. just gonna say that. I was gonna be like, I wonder if I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ilya in '96? That would have been a nice category for him because he Fuck. was still a bit skinny at, at '94. Some CrossFit yeah, guy but. being like, I just got a 70 kilo snatch. Let's go watch Worlds. No, I'm just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I think Ilya was peaked at like 2012, 94. He had abs. He was like dense, max fridge. Like if we just saw that, like super, really good snatching. Like he lost a lot of his snatching ability when he got to 105, you know? Yeah. Well, okay, what would you have put your... Okay, you got $100 to put on the line between Ilya and Sarab. Peak, both at 96. Who are you putting your money on? Ilya, because it just happened too many times where the he just, yeah. just came back and just smashed people. Yeah. But Maradi is a mental joint as well, so it's uh... the fact that Maradi he went after that two thirty seven, even though he'd won, just because he had the final lift and Tian cleaned that two thirty six. Like he didn't mm. need to lift that, and he still yeah. almost made the cleaner jerk. Yeah, like that's pretty big. So I, I'm assuming Maradi would have won the snatch for sure, like pretty pretty easy, I would think. So yeah, I will nice. I will say this with um, uh, regards to honorable mention, mine is Vasily Alexiev, because yeah. because like to me. So, you know, when I told my dad about weightlifting, he, like, didn't really understand it. He still kind of thought it was powerlifting or whatever. But there was the NBC Wide, wide World of Sports. Do you guys remember that? Or ABC? Yeah. No, NBC no. Wide World we of Sports. No, it was – so basically what they would do is they'd go to these crazy events, uh, you know, whether it was, like, high diving, like, real high diving and shit like that, yeah, or yeah, yeah. something like weightlifting. And Vasily Alexiev was like featured on that. It was like the, a big deal. So in America, like weightlifting actually had a lot of prowess when it was kind of like a circus act type of thing. Mm -hmm. And Vasily okay. Alexiev was the man. So like yeah, he was. my dad and my grandpa would sit and watch Vasily Alexiev and they're like, fuck, I love this guy. And he, he was on the always, front cover of Sports Illustrated, they which is yep, like huge. They always talk about like his fucking belly. That's all yeah, that's yeah. What they, that they talk about. So in my mind, it's like, that's the goat. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's the standard that we're looking for. 
there was there was a lot of options for sure, but uh, I think there was there's definitely some honorable mentions. Like Jamaican would have been a yeah, like, fucking Chingus. But he was just yeah. kind of, fat, I guess yeah, that that's how it works. You know, he he, he nearly fat. racked two seventy. I mean, that's that's worked. Yeah. There was Archim. Yeah. I was going to add Archim Udichin because he jerked at two seventy, yeah. and he and he moves fast as well. But I was like, yeah, mm, he he's not really like he's not. Tank was a bit more entertaining, I think. I like this list though. This was fun. Yeah, yeah. great list. So, yeah, Thanks, yeah, guys. very solid. Um, yeah. The, I was uh, from the women's side. I was gonna like maybe Meng Supeng, but uh, I feel like Tatiana was just more of a. What about Lee Wen Wen, dude? <laughs> she's fucking big. Yeah, she's yeah. huge as well. Yeah. Yeah. The that who's it? Who's that photo of one of them with the oscillation and the barbell? You know, and it's like nearly. Yeah, it's yeah, below it's neither of them, but it's uh, I can't remember her name, but I know exactly who you mean. Yeah, it's just yeah. too much. Yeah, she's large. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for coming to Seek Stand and watching our Power Belly special. Yeah, uh, obviously you guys know where Weightlifting House and Zach Talander on YouTube and then on Instagram as well. Anything new coming out, lads? Anything you're excited about? Anything people should be watching out for? I just, World's content. Yeah, just a video on Louis Simmons. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably have seen this by the time this is up, I would think. Yeah. 